Um, but anyway, what is this song? <laughs> I've never heard this before. There are like, what, 500 tracks in the game? I'm sure there are some oh. weird ones. It's just, it's just probably, never mind. <sighs> I guess I've never I'm heard that intro. I'm honestly just disappointed that whenever you choose like the song on FD, you don't instantly pick the yodeling song from <laughs> Tekken. All right, but we're going to be looking at Mario versus Link. Ooh. Yeah, this is Zane playing. I think this is Zane playing the Link, which is not usually what we know from them. They uh, are normally sort of famous for their Duck Hunt, a character that has shown time and time again just how frightening it is in their hands. But let's see how this Link goes. I think that there are certain parts to the uh, the game style that are similar, but there are definitely some distinct differences. For one, the fact that Link has really nice disjoints against Mario might prove to be quite useful, but we'll see. So far, Zane has kind of just been given the uh, given the beating. 121% mm -hmm. and off stage. <gasps> oh! Oh! I, I don't... I, so he did neutral air afterwards. But that also could have just been an option select, and it was uh, intentional. We'll and we'll call it intentional. We'll call it intentional to give him uh, the benefit of the doubt because that's honestly, a big punish. Ooh, but it's not enough to get the kill, and that's actually pretty impactful because now Zane has to figure out how to get a stock in some other way. And this is something whenever anybody plays a secondary, if they uh you know don't necessarily have as much experience with the character. Once they get to the point where they have to kill, then they can struggle. But mm -hmm. Zane is showing us that they are not going to be struggling to kill. Just trapping Mario in disadvantage forever, cleaning up the stock soon thereafter. A little bit of a scramble situation. Up E, that's going to be punished. Up throw, down air. Just Mario classic things. Yeah, but uh, that's a Link classic thing. <laughs> Link has amazing quick aerials himself, both quick ones and safe ones with his uh, his neutral air. Yep. So kind of actually, okay. The thing is, like, in the neutral, they can kind of both hit buttons, but once Mario gets that one hit in, who oh boy, does he start the match. I find it interesting that Zane uh, chose to go for a neutral air for that uh, ledge trap instead of setting up any of his project or any of their projectiles. Now we got Boomerang coming out. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I will say that that's one thing we haven't seen quite so much of yet was cape. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like Zane adapted very quickly to seeing that cape and actually managed to get a stock soon thereafter. So I feel like there are some really nice adaptations coming out on Zane's part. Whatever sort of grinder that was that they were being put in at the beginning of this game, that is definitely no longer the case. Mm -hmm. And I'll now we're just seeing uh, Zane was just content to forward air in place, uh, putting it, putting the onus on Mario to get in. Yeah, and using a bigger move like forward air makes it harder for Mario to find the up smashes, which is definitely one of his favorite wa ways to close out stocks. Mm -hmm. That's what you see right there. Yep. Yeah, and look at this. Zane, it's like they're either going for a like, you know, a sort of a forward air, or they're just staying grounded, recognizing that above all, probably Mario wants to be looking for that, that up smash. Great up or air dodge read. Back though going to do it. Yeah, at 180 percent that yeah. will definitely <laughs> seal the deal. Link's heavy, but not quite that heavy. Ooh, I like that. Getting past that whole wall of projectiles, landing the back air, but not much after it. It feels like right now Zane is really forcing Steven to work. Nice. Oh, but it, it's like even when he, he was getting a, a hit in, he wouldn't be able to convert off of it. Mm -hmm. It was like Zane was always putting himself in a position where the boomerang was going to be coming back, or there was like an inconvenient bomb, where just the move that had actually landed wasn't the kind that Steven could actually see, like, you know, take either a big damage or take the stock with, so... Damn it, I forgot, the, I forgot about that footstool. That was <laughs> silly. There's a, a lot happening in that first game. Very explosive. Stock battle. And, you know, it does feel like there are shades of Zane's Duck Hunt in this um, 
off in this link. Number one, how they really force the jumps. And once the opponent jumps, at least I think two of those stocks were basically from that sort of thing. Oh, no, Link Neutral Air came out to a combo break that. <laughs> I cannot believe that down tilt hit. <laughs> yeah, once again, we're seeing uh, Steven just struggling to get past uh, this barrage of hitboxes from Link. Mario, uh, typically known to suffer a little bit against uh, disjoints. Yeah, and Link is a character where, even though he definitely has disjoints, not necessarily known for them the same way that, you know, Lucina or Pyra would be. Right. But nonetheless, we're seeing that using the, honestly, the solid frame data that Link has, Zane is, oh, Zane is dead. That fireball snipe putting him, sending him all the way to hell. Yeah, it looked like uh, Zane was getting ready for the bomb recovery, but fireball sniped him just a little bit too low. Now we're seeing Zane on the back foot. Gonna be catching that jump in from Steven. Yeah, and this is sort of thing where we definitely see the solid neutral play coming out from Zane. Ooh. That was a nice confirm. I like that. Let's see now if Steven is going to be able to get another one of those big combos started. You know, at these lower percents, it's exactly... Oh, no, it's Zane who's getting the big combos <laughs> out here. Look at that. Oh, man, and still trapped on the platforms. I love that neutral air to get back down. Actually managing to thread the needle between all of these... You know, disjointed hitboxes that have deceptively low lag. <laughs> nice. And there, you were talking about it before, the uh, the reverse boomerang. Just getting Zane so much, bailing him out right, bailing them out right there. Yeah, you know, if, if I'm Steven, perhaps, you know, when you actually find an opening, when Zane does do one of their rare overcommitments, Gotta be optimal with your punish because he's getting these back airs, and back air is solid damage, but it's not necessarily like leading into that much considering the fact that Zane has been very consistently getting off ledge, you know, landing. So maybe go for, you know, landing up airs or try and sneak in a grab when you can. Because otherwise, like, look at this when, when Steven takes damage, he takes damage. Whereas Zane's like, eh, whatever. I got up smash, I don't even care. I'm Link, I got bombs. Zane now off stage. Or Zane Steven. Yeah, and. Oh, uh, the reverse up B. You gotta respect that from Link. Yeah, and you saw that at the end of that, he actually drifted even further away from the ledge, realizing that, you know, gonna bring him as close to the blast zone as possible, considering the fact that that was his last stock. Didn't matter if he doesn't grab the ledge afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yep, just that little extra bit to make sure. Yep. So anyway, good stuff to Zane. Um, we don't normally see their link. It looks pretty good. I don't quite think it's on the caliber of you know their duck hunt, but at the same time, I you know I like the idea of messing around with different characters, giving a at the very least a little bit of a showcase. Though you know everybody who's tuning in right now, which by the way, thank you guys for tuning in.